All right. And second place on your winner. What's up guys and welcome. You are watching Fancy Fitness. So the results of the Emperor Classic Spain are now out. And as predicted by most of the people after the prejudging, the conqueror William Bonner comes back with a ban and gets first place trophy as well as the Olympia qualification for 2024. But first of all, I want to appreciate Bahros Tabani here and also his coach Milo Sorsev who was able to bring back Bahros in a much better shape for the finals. He was a lot more harder, a lot more drier and overall in a much better condition. So it was another close battle between the top two guys, just like it was at Daniel Pro, between Martin and Nick Walker. Same was the case here at Emperor Classic Spain as well, because we can see in the score cuts that William Barnack was just one point ahead of Barros Tabani after the prejudging. And there was also only a one point difference at the finals as well. Now the final score that was kind of surprising because most of us thought that Barros should have moved past William Barnack. Because it seemed like that Barros was beating William Barnack in that backlash spread shot as well. So was there anything more Barros Tabani and Milos could have done to shift it in their favors? Well, I cannot really say. Because Barros was on point in terms of everything. He was absolutely spot on. Now these hard fought battles, that's what the bodybuilding fans enjoy the most. That is exactly what we all look forward to in any bodybuilding show. Now I do have to say if Barros would have placed ahead of William Barnack, if Barros would have won that show, I don't think anyone would have complained. In fact, I think most of the people would have been more happy with that decision. And you can see Bahros' reaction right here after the results were announced that Bahros was disappointed with the decision of the judges. There was a second. And William Bonnet takes William home the gold. Nice, impressive. That was one hell of a Where comeback. Barros, tremendous for the finals. Yeah, first place. Also close battle. Yeah, but William Bonnet, well deserved. Champ. Now, it is very important to put Hadi Chopin's reaction right here, encouraging his fellow countrymen to not lose hope and come back harder for the next one, which I'm sure Barros is going to be a lot more better this very next weekend in Italy, where he is going to be going up against Nathan Diasha. Now let's talk about the champ, William Barnack. What a great return to the stage. And this was against all the odds, against all the predictions. And people were just being realistic with him. And all those opinions were based on his previous two competitions. Because he wasn't impressive at all at the Olympia 2022. And then at the Arnold, even though he was much better. But even then he placed 7th at that show. Plus the age factor, which everyone thought was gonna play a huge role tonight. But William defied all the odds. Plus. He was so damn professional in his posing routines when he was up on that stage and it really showed. While Michael Crizzo and Barros Tabani were both a little shaky on the stage. But William Barnack on the other hand being a veteran was very conscious about holding the pose most of the time. So a huge congratulations to William Barnack, a very well deserved win tonight. And I'm not gonna talk about how this physique is gonna compare at the Olympia stage this year. It's William Barnack's night, so let him enjoy that. But I do wonder. Will he still be doing Protocol Pro which is happening in 3 weeks time? Because originally that was his plan. And here is a very wholesome moment between William Barnack and his coach Stefan. And a big thanks to AJ Kelly for capturing this moment. So Michael Crizzo plays third here. Definitely not the results he was expecting. But the thing is he left the door open. And I have to say wide open for both William Barnack and Barros Sabani. And both these guys moved past him. So Crizzo was the favorite coming into this show. But the fact is he did not deliver. But this also opens up an opportunity to fill up his physique more for this upcoming Italy Pro. And he's gonna have another chance to make a solid statement there. Because the lineup in Italy is gonna be a fierce one with Nathan Diesha in the mix. And Nathan has been on point since the beginning of the season. But that being said, 
Crezo needs to fix his posing at all costs. It is his third year in the IFB Pro League, and we are still talking about that issue. That we all saw when he made his pro debut back at Pro Pro 2022. Now, as far as his bag is concerned, it isn't rocket science to determine that that is a genetic weakness. And Crystal's back is always going to be a weak pose for him. Because we have seen very little improvement in that department, especially in the last couple of years. Other than him fixing his conditioning in the back shorts, his back really hasn't improved in terms of thickness, in terms of width. So let's see what different can he do for Italy Pro. Now also a huge shout out to Sazan Hiriti for making a very successful comeback. So he finished 4th here in Spain. And no one was really expecting that. Plus no one was actually expecting him to win this show. After taking 6 years away from the stage. But the fact that he coached himself. And he did a very superb job of it. I think he deserves an applaud. Plus I do feel like that the judges kinda ignored him. He was in a superb conditioning. He really wasn't lacking in the science department as well. So, I feel like that the judges should have given him more time to stand with those top 3 guys. And I think they should have done more comparisons with him. Now, Sazan during his entire career hasn't been able to win a pro show. But he was placed second back in 2018 against Nathan Diesha. So, it is really nice to see a veteran return to the stage and actually look this good. So, let's just hope that this isn't the end of the season for him and he is gonna compete more. So Anthony Gell ended up in 5th place and Pablo Lopez in 6th. So that's it for the men's open bodybuilding. Let me know what you guys think about the results here. Did you guys agree with the results? Or did you guys have Barros Tabani winning the show? So in Classic Physique, Jose Manuel aka Jazama Beast wins his 2nd Classic Physique Pro Show. Which was very clear after the pre-judging. And I do have to say very impressive stuff by Jose. And that is the thing about Classic Physique guys. We all know he would have struggled in the men's open bodybuilding, especially against guys like William Bonnack, Barros Sabani, and Michael Crizzo. And it would have surely taken him a few more years of very hard training, not to mention a lot more food consumption, especially in comparison to Classic. And obviously more drugs, more PEDs, to finally be at that level, where he was gonna be a contender to win his first pro show in the men's open. And just look at him in Classic physique, he is gonna be on the Olympia stage this year. He has already won two pro shows and he is gonna be there on that biggest stage with a very high note. Now again, I do have to say if someone twists as much as Jose did here at Ampro Classic Spain, then I do feel like that they should be marked down. But do let me know what is your opinion on that matter. So really cannot wait to see him on the Olympia stage this year because this guy is gonna be extremely competitive especially from the back. There is absolutely no doubt about that. That back is definitely worthy of the Olympia stage and possibly worthy of placing in the first call out. But that being said, I do have to say he is still fighting a weight cap and that too at the start of his classic physique career. And that is always gonna hinder his progress. That is always gonna be the case. His physique isn't gonna change that much because there is simply no more room to grow. But do let me know what you guys think. How well he can do at his first ever classic physique Mr. Olympia this year. And also hit the thumbs up button if you liked the video. And smash the subscribe button if you wanna come back for more. Thanks for watching.